Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. Today we are going to Hobby Lobby and we're gonna see what we can find, see what's new in their spring shop, see what they have on sale this week and we're just gonna get out and go shopping, see what we can find. So if you like this type of video, be sure and give it a like so that I know you wanna see more videos like this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is free, just hit that little subscribe button and it will just let YouTube know that you like my content and you want to see my videos and they will let you know when I upload a new one. So let's just go ahead and get started and go shopping and see what we can find today. Everything in the spring shop is 40% off right now. And so that's where I'm going to get started. I'm just looking at some new items. I love this mirror. I have a full size mirror in my office. It was once in my bedroom. Now it's in the office. And I would like to have another one in my bedroom. This one was $2.99 regular price. So it would be 40% off of that. It's a really good size mirror. But this one I fell in love with. I thought it was gorgeous. It's about the same size, I would say. Um, you can look up online and get the dimensions on those, or you might could screenshot um, where I got up close to that sticker, not sure. But this mirror is gorgeous, but the regular price on it is $500. So even at 40% off, I just wasn't um, willing to pay that, which I may regret later on. I love this little stuff to pick up for the camper each year. They have cutest little hand towels, kitchen towels, all kinds of little camper stuff, uh, hot plates, some placemats. I just love to pick this stuff up and put it in the camper and have it for summer. And also to give it as gifts because our whole family camps, my sister-in-law, my mother-in-law, um, just our whole family camps. So these are great gifts for them as well. These are some cute little wood accent pieces. If you know me, you know I love to use wood in my kitchen and on my grandmother's hutch. But I really loved this little recipe book holder. It was super cute. And I've seen one um, at Target. It's the Hearth and Hand by Magnolia. This one was $34.99, which it would be 40% off of that. I'm not really sure if that's comparable to the Target price, but that is so cute. And I love these little... Um, risers. I, I don't know what you call these, but I love them. I have one, not in this particular color, but I have one in my kitchen that I keep my uh, coffee pods. I keep it over in my little coffee corner. And that would be very cute to put a diffuser on or a plant or anything like that. I'm also a sucker for wooden rolling pins. I really like to find vintage ones at the thrift stores and antique shops and stuff like that. But these are really cute and just very inexpensive. And I thought all of these wooden um, utensils would be so pretty sitting out on your counter in a pretty little utensil holder. I just thought that would be gorgeous. And like I said, all of this stuff is 40% off, so you could do that so inexpensive. Not gonna lie here, I thought these were really cute, but my mind was blown when I saw the $29.99 price tag on those measuring cups. I feel like that was way too high, even with 40% off. I tried and tried to think of something to use that little spoon for. I didn't buy it and I never thought of anything to use it for, but I thought it was adorable.
lots of unique finds on this aisle, different kinds of shelves, things that would be cute, I thought, in a kid's room, nursery, just so many options on this aisle, so many different shelves. You could actually use it as storage and also just for decor, but I thought there were some really unique items on this aisle. I always find myself drawn to mirrors, even though I don't need any. Um, like I said, I wouldn't mind having a full length mirror in my bedroom, so I always look at them. But like this round mirror, I thought was super cute, kind of a boho vibe. Um, and then these kind of gold brassy looking mirrors, I have thought about getting a different one for above my fireplace. And so these would be some cute options for that. I just felt like the sizes weren't quite right for what I needed, but they were very pretty. And again, this is the spring shop. So 40% off. I love dough bowls and they had some really huge ones. I thought these were cute. These were great for like a centerpiece on your dining room table or if you have a big island. Great centerpieces. You can put so many different things. But I love all of this um, vintage-y looking stuff. All these little stools they had. I just thought all this was so pretty. I feel like maybe we can go ahead and start thinking about our outside living spaces, our back patios, our front porches. I'm so ready for spring. So I was excited to see a lot of these little planners and side tables for your outdoor patio furniture. These were some really cute finds. Um, and I, I didn't buy anything today. Actually, I didn't buy any of the stuff, but I do enjoy looking and just seeing what they have and going ahead and getting some ideas in my head for when I get ready to get all my summer stuff out. always have great basket options these are great for storage as well as decor that's what I like to use my baskets for you can throw toys in there look at this I thought that would be so cute in a little boys room or maybe a nursery They did have a version of the egg chair. I will say it was much smaller and in my opinion looked like not as good quality as my Walmart egg chair. I will be sure and link the Walmart one in the description box. I feel like it is a much better deal. They had these really pretty blanket ladders, which we've thought about trying to just make these ourselves, but those were cute. Now I have gotten out of the spring shop, so this is just stuff that's going to rotate being on sale. And this particular week, all of the drawer handles and pulls and things like that were on sale for 50% off. And so what I usually do if I go in there and something in particular I'm looking at isn't on sale that week, I wait until the following week and go, usually they kind of rotate what's on sale. So this week, all of these are on sale. These are great if you ever paint furniture or redo anything. You can put a new handle on there and it looks like a totally different piece. Put a little paint, a new handle on there, and you're good to go. I actually have some of these clear ones on a hutch that I redone and it is so pretty. And then I know my sister-in-law has gotten lots here for some of the stuff I have painted for her and it just gives everything a whole new look, especially if you catch it for half off, you just can't beat it.
Well, goodness, here I am in the mirrors again, y'all. I just can't stay away. This is over in just the regular aisle where mirrors are. These are 50% off um, on this particular week. Like I said, just watch. Usually every other week they'll kind of have different items on sale. These are gorgeous. These round mirrors half off of $64.99. That is a really good deal. They have it in black and gold. I think that would be really cute in a little girl's nursery. These are so pretty. They've got those in the black and gold as well. That's a pretty good size mirror. Uh, half of $119.99. They have tons of like the gold looking mirrors if you like those. They have all kinds. This is the big mirror that I currently have that I was talking about earlier, and it is in my office right now. So I did buy it from here, and I made sure and got it on the 50% off week. So I found a section over here that if I was doing a little girl's nursery, this would be it. It is so pretty. It's boho. I love this pillow actually though, just for like my living room or whatever. And I've told y'all this tip before, but I always look for pillows that have a zipper so I can change out those pillow covers and just use the inserts. They had lots of interesting candlesticks and candle holders over here. Y'all know I love like the vintage brass candlesticks. And they had some, you know, kind of dupes of those here. I thought they were pretty cute. And they just had some interesting finds. You could find something really unique. I loved this little guy. And actually, it, it was very light. Like I thought it was really wood. I was expecting it to be very heavy, and it wasn't. So I thought that was a little bit pricey. Um, but it was cute. A few cute little kitchen items here and this sign really cracked me up if you are like me and you live in the south shut the front door no really shut it you're letting bugs in that is the story of our life and it's flies here in Tennessee I don't know if you have the same problem as me but I thought that sign was hilarious I thought this would be really cute to either having the camper and you could put utensils in it or to just use outside like if we have birthday parties or swimming, um, just have friends over or whatever and we maybe have some snacks or something to eat, you could just put all of your utensils in there and have it sitting out on the patio table. So I pointed out what I would decorate if I was doing a little girl nursery. So I'm going to point out what I would do for a little boy nursery. I thought this was adorable. This just really looks like my boys and something that we would like and use. But they just have the cutest stuff and I just love it. All of their pillows were 50% off on this particular week. I thought these round ones were really cute. They had so many different colors, and I thought it was just something different, something you don't see everywhere. And then y'all know I'm a sucker for tassels, so I love any of these boho style pillows.
they had the prettiest colors in these little organization sets. Um, these would be great for storage, organization. You could use them in your pantry, in your kitchen, um, or your bathrooms. These would be really good, I think, in your bathrooms for makeup and lotions and things like that, um, just to get you organized. I know y'all have seen my kitchen table centerpiece it is actually my papa's old toolbox and i just decorate it for all of the seasons i know y'all seen that before but this is a really cute option if you want to get that look but you don't have an actual old toolbox you could get that same look with this very inexpensive all right friends i need your help who here has made one of the handmade chunky knit throw blankets i want to make one so bad look at these gorgeous colors that would be so pretty for fall i want just a cream colored one for just year-round use i'm thinking about making one this um yarn was not on sale on this particular week but i think i'm gonna watch for it i'm gonna watch some youtube videos but somebody let me know in the comments if you have ever made one of these and how hard it was I don't usually decorate for Easter. Sometimes I'll just put out spring stuff and use some of the traditional Easter colors, the pastels and just some of the spring flowers and things like that. But I don't actually just decorate for Easter usually. Y'all let me know in the comments below, do you decorate for Easter? They had some really cute things here. I did love these wooden bunnies. I thought they were adorable and would be cute on a front porch. Um, and pretty decently priced. I'm not sure if this stuff was 40 or 50% off, but it was definitely on sale and they had some really good finds. That is it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed. What was your favorite thing that I found? What was your favorite item that you saw? Was there anything that you saw that you have in your home? If so, let me know. I loved that huge floor mirror. It was so pretty, but the regular price on it was $500 and I just can't justify paying. Even though it's 40% off, that's still so expensive to me, but it is really pretty. But anyway, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite item that you seen in today's shopping trip? And y'all come back next week, see what we get into, and we'll see you later. Bye.